Do you hear me? What's up, buddy? Oregon Gold Hunter is in the house. We're live, 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 live. All right, guys, do I have something really awesome today to share with you? All right, so this company, Perch Tools, reached out to me on Instagram. And I didn't know much about them until I started talking to the gentleman. And I was like, yeah, bring them. I want to try these suckers. All right, so what these are, guys, and when you order these now, you can get these at Perch dot com i'm gonna put it underneath the video okay real nice guy over there at perch let me turn this light on it actually helps a little bit yeah that's a little bit better maybe this way was better all right um yeah so new little company uh perch tools all right, like I said, I will put the um, the link below here. And this is a great idea for anybody. Now, uh, he sent me DeWalt and Milwaukee, all right? Obviously, I think they make uh, Makita, Rigid, Ryobi. Um, what these are, are these are basically tool, um, power tool inserts, all right? What's up, Giovanni? Lenny, John Spitzley. All right, so let me show you. All right, so this is, if you get a Milwaukee, this is what it will look like, a perch insert from a Milwaukee 18 volt. All right, got the nice perch logo there. And what's inside is basically a cleat, all right? Now, as you can see, the nice perch logo, which is on every one. And let me just open a DeWalt one. Uh, you guys have seen these for, you know, the batteries, right? Milwaukee... 18 volt battery we know rumor industry makes a nice one uh, a couple other companies just saw my little milwaukee one that i guess you know some people are making with um you know those 3d printers um i don't believe these are well, if, if this is a 3d printer um it definitely has a different look and texture all right so obviously they're color coordinated here all right so obviously if you get a makita i'm sure it will be teal right if it's rigid i'm sure it'll be orange if it's ryobi i'm sure it'll be green but uh we've seen these before um and definitely a different feel than some of these other 3d uh, but I, again i don't know if these are 3d printed or not but um but we we've seen them for the batteries right like i said here's a a cleat that a company sent me um you know kind of sell these i guess on um you know, eBay and Amazon and stuff like that. But the only way to get these is through Perch directly. And they got them all individually boxed here. But instead of using these little cleats, you know, for the batteries, which, you know, all right, pretty cool, I guess. But they make them for the tools now. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know, eventually, and it's only been three years, but I'm like, yeah, I made this cool little shelf got a nice little setup i got my radio got some uh tools some bits mostly my chargers are on here but below here i'm gonna get some you know some nice yeah yep i'm gonna make a nice a uh get some you know plastic pipe right or probably i was gonna go the wood way and make a little tool holder for the tools that i grab really quick all the time Instead of kind of leaving them on the workbench where they kind of get in the way, things get cluttered, you know, I'm kind of going to build um, a little rack for my power tools up here. Um, but this makes it so simple. All right. As you can see, it's a little cleat. Any tool you want, slide it right in. Just like that. Um, here's the Milwaukee. I'm going to probably put that one up. Now, the one thing... If you go this route, now you can do it any way you want, guys. You know, this only reason I did it here because this is like my workstation. So now, you know, I could sit, I got an impact driver. I can kind of maybe put my Milwaukee, um, you know, hammer drill here, 
right? And maybe put that little DeWalt impact wrench um, right next, to, right here. You know, I mean, you got, I got so much room and these things take up such a small, I mean, it's this, if you make, you know, a lot of people make these with the, um, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Yep, a lot of people make these, you know, a lot of different ways, but they're kind of huge. They're big um, to, you know, store your power tools, whether it's on your workbench or your workstation or whatever. These, I mean, make it so simple. And if we want to put it somewhere else, it has two screws, you take it out and you can, you know, put it wherever you want. I mean, it ain't something that once you put up here, guys, you know, if you build, you know, one of these little rack systems for your tools it's kind of set there all right if something happens you know then you got to build another one somewhere else what's great about this is if you know you really don't need them here or you want to bring these little holders somewhere else you take two screws out right boom boom and then you can put them wherever you want to put them all right so cool little system here from perch again they sent me Three DeWalt. I might have asked for DeWalt. I'm going to be honest with you. When the guy hit me up, I thought they were like battery holders. So I didn't have any DeWalt. So I said, yeah, send me some DeWalt. And all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So awesome here. But check out perch.com. I'm going to put the link underneath. Again, super simple. Uh, they send you the screws too. Okay. You know, if you want. What's great about them, you know, you might want to put them, you know, this way. You can do that any way you want, you know. If you want to kind of put them on your wall like this, totally up to you, right? I obviously like this way the best, super simple. But many different ways, you know, you can build kind of, just get a, you know, a 2 by 6 or a one by 6 This is probably like a one by 4 we got a one by four. Now, again, if you have the belt clips, it's not going to work. All right. I had to take the belt clip off this. Now, if I, I could have faced it the other way and just put one at the edge here. But to be honest with you, I don't use belt clips. Uh, sometimes they come on the tools and I end up taking them off most of the time. Um, but yeah, I mean, awesome. And it sits in there real nice, real secure and easy to pull off. Boom, boom. Um, yeah. I don't know the price of these. If someone wants to check it out for me, um, perch inserts. But I will definitely have the link below. I'm going to honest, be honest with you. I'm probably, uh, I hope that, well, I don't know how they would make 12 volt. Because I like to keep the 12 volt stuff up here. You know, because they're a lot smaller, obviously, in size here. Well, actually, I mean, look at this thing. It's not that much. Well, I got the battery in it, of course. And I guess you can make them with the, with the, with a twelve volt, but it's not going to be too easy. It's crazy what people are coming up with now. But yeah, you know, you could put like your stubby here, right? Or I mean, anything, even your impact, uh, even your uh, your ratchet. I mean, there's so many different. And guys, if I wanted to put my, I mean, here I'll show you. Now, obviously, this isn't a big enough area. Okay, this isn't a big enough area, but check this out. Here's my circular saw, right? My whole thing might end up collapsing here because this is a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. Yeah, this is like too much weight, but um, yeah, this thing is, yeah. I mean, obviously, it de it's going to depend on what you're putting on here. All right. Yeah, this whole thing will end up coming down. I don't want that. Um, I mean, I could show you this, but I want to do a video on this tonight. No, I don't. So I want to show that to you in the video. I do. It's true. But, you know, here, I can show you. Yeah, kind of a gun. I was going to show you the new detent. It's a great, yeah, it is. It's awesome. 
I don't even have any DeWalt tools out here, unfortunately. Um, but you guys get the picture, right? I mean, obviously, you could put any tool you want here. I mean, uh, a circular saw, if this was strong enough, you know, if you're going to build, like, a nice... And that's what you could do, you know? I mean, obviously, I have a shelf here. If I would have put this up, like, another foot and a half, right? Then I could have kind of made my own secure, really tough, you know, with better uh, mounting on here for, for heavier stuff. But, you know, I don't want to put it really a circular saw here. But you can, and it would fit. Um, but, yeah, these are great. I mean, you know, this is the stuff I, I've been hoping for. The battery thing is cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, no doubt. I mean, here's my, my uh, stubby here. If they come out, if they have it, you know, you could put your 12-volt stubby right here. Just, uh, just a quick grab. Um, and I hope rigid, they have them for rigid. I bet you they do. But really, really awesome here. All right? And this is what the Milwaukee one looks like. Um, I just wanted to put one up quick, so I picked the DeWalt one here. But again, it doesn't have to be limited to just an impact driver a hammer drill, you know, a drill driver. You know, if you have the room, you know, again, I only, I, it, this is like perfect. I have it in the perfect spot. It's not, it's not touching a wall or anything, but you know, you can make it work. What's ever best for the tools that you want to kind of use with these little brackets here, tool inserts. What's up, Steven? Yeah, it's cool. Right, Len? Again, I, I, I was kind of shocked. You know, I, I I get a lot of companies that hit me up on Instagram. And I, I try to help. You know, they're a small company. I'm like, yeah, send them over. And all of a sudden, I, I just opened them up. And I'm like, oh, this is freaking awesome. So this isn't an insert. Like, this isn't a battery holder or a battery cleat. Perch has come out with actual tool mounts, right? Or tool holders. And I'm like, oh, let's let's see if this just works. And they're really well made. I don't think these are 3D printed at all. I mean, you can tell. I mean, if they are, it's a really, you know, it ain't like one of these $300 3D printers. Um, Because, you know, you can kind of tell this is definitely, you know, a 3D printed little battery holder. And, you know, for this to hold a tool, you know, it's got to be, you know, pretty strong right the the construction of it and the materials have to be strong to hold you know a tool um my the circular saw would have slid right on here like nothing it was just hitting stuff and and you know but obviously you can make your own you know i got a piece of wood right here if i end up doing that down the road oh that'd be awesome i mean if you you're a woodworker right and you always you're always using your circular saw, right? Or maybe your jigsaw. You're always using your jig. And you always kind of leave it on your workbench. And, you know, it kind of gets in the way. Now you can keep it off the workbench, off your workstation, right? And put it right here. For the people I have, like, some of these tool carts, right? You know, you can even do that. I mean, under my DeWalt tool cart, I'm going to tell you right now what I'm doing with one of them, right underneath my my tool cart like you know like right here but then this is the top of my tool cart right i'm gonna put one right underneath right through the 10 gauge steel and i'm gonna probably put my impact wrench there because that's the tool cart i use when i when i work on my cars all right oh that'll always have a spot locked up so i don't have to keep it on top <clears throat> take space from up there and you know you're kind of moving around and it kind of falls over tips over you know, that's if you keep it, you know, stood up. You can obviously lay it down, too. But, you know, obviously standing up takes up less space. Mine's crammed. So if you put it down, you know, you take up more space. But now it's going to be tucked under there, like in a tight little wiener package. So, yeah, really impressed. And I, I, I really should have looked to see the prices on these. Um, but super impressed and i don't know if there's any other company making these 
right now that there might be. I'm, I'm not sure. And these, you know, companies might have been making these for like a year. I don't know. First time I've ever seen them or, you know, it's just awesome. Yeah. Because I usually kind of keep, look at this. This is how I keep my drills. These are the drills I use most, right? And I'm probably going to start using all heart stuff as my main stuff. Only because, you know, I don't like using the tools when I use them. You know, like I said, I always use the the cheapest stuff. Because I know I'm going to kind of beat them up or bust them up or stuff like that. So, you know, I did have the old 12 volts in my bag. You know, I still got the uh, 12 volt Milwaukee brushed. That's been in my bag and the drill driver for whenever I need need it. It's in my trailer. Um but yeah, like if they had a Ryobi thing, and you know, these are great too, like for my trailer. Instead of throwing them in a bag, you know, I'm gonna make a nice little kind of shelf like this, and I'm gonna these are these are game changers. I'm just I I can't believe that something like this has finally kind of come out. It's awesome. And it's just wonders, guys. And I don't hope Perch doesn't get upset with me by saying this, but it's just what what do you guys personally think? It's just a matter of time before DeWalt comes out with their own or especially Milwaukee. If they know that there's a market for this stuff, uh don't be surprised if they kind of come out and make their own um at some point. But um Perch, man, great. And again, it comes with the screws. All right, they're, they're not long screws, so you don't need a real thick piece of wood. The screws didn't come through my little, you know, shelf here. Um, and again, these are the Milwaukee DeWalt's, but they do make uh, Makita, Rigid, Ryobi. I think that's the five. They might even make more, but I'm pretty sure the literature. And let me say, I know they make Makita 100% and Rigid. I'm not 100% sure about Ryobi, to be honest with you. But um, but oh, can you... What's up, Steven Spitzley? Oh, the six, I mean, yeah, $7. All right, thank you, Chuck Dog and John Spitzley. Thank you. Chris, what's up, buddy? Paul Thompson, what's up, man? Luke Loader, what's up? Ariel KI, Joe V, what's up? Mercury Mask. 94 is in the house. I'll see you later tonight, 94. Yeah, so for $6.95, guys, I mean, you know, you could buy 10 of them. I mean, that's the bad, you know, that's the thing with these guys from Rumors Industry. I get a lot of people who still comment, you know, they're just, they're, they did, I think, finally lower the price a little bit. All right. Now, again, if you're looking for battery holders, these things are a bomb. I got them in my trailer and, I used them the whole last month of the season with big nine amp hour batteries. Not one fell, you know, no, no, I mean, they snap in. These just lay in. All right. This will fall over in a heartbeat, right? These, they, you hear it click and they're metal and they're, they're, just, they're awesome, but they're very expensive. You know, they're made out of metal too. All right. That's what's great about these. Um, the price and the quality of the of the material all right really and, I, and i'll show you how it would work with the milwaukee real quick and then my phone is already yeah the battery shot in this the phone's not even a year old it's pretty crazy but here is a well i'm so used to the the battery cleat all right, so here is the one key Milwaukee impact driver. All right, so yeah. How would this one go? Like that, no, it goes on top. It really doesn't work on all the tools. How would this one get in there? It would have to go like that, right? Yeah.
Oh, there it is. All right, so I can show you with either one, but um, oh, maybe it doesn't have an impact one. Yeah. All right, it didn't work on the impact for some reason, but here, here's the cleat. All right, so again, if it didn't have the belt on there, I mean, you can go that way with them. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. So if you like using your belt clips, just, you know, mount them like this. All right, so the belt clip will be up. I did it that way. All right, but, you know, if you have a belt clip, that's all you got to do. I didn't even think about that. All right? And it, see, it locks right in. See, I'm actually holding it by the cleat. All right, but for some reason... I mean, obviously, it has to work in the impact driver. I mean, they, maybe because it's a one key? No. See, this should slide in. I don't know what the problem is here. That's crazy. Yeah, here, it slides right in. What is the malfunction with the one key? There might, is there, oh, wait a minute. That could be why. Yeah, there's a little piece of plastic in this one key right there. If you can see it, All right, right there, that's stopping it. It's stopping it, baby. Um, yeah, that's weird, but yeah, so, um. Awesome, guys. I mean, I think this is, you know, for $6.95, I'm going to be honest, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to go hit the perch site. I want to see if they have any 12-volt stuff. Um, but the Makita stuff, if you're a Makita guy, they also have Makita. And again, they're they're kind of color comboed. You know, obviously, Milwaukee's red. The Walt's yellow. But again, you know, you're using your tool. You take the battery off. Boom. Put it down. You got your little thing up here. Bam. But like I said, if you have a belt clip, you just got to do it that way. All right? And then your belt clip would go up. Okay? And you can put another one here. And then another one here. What's great about going it this way, you can definitely fit more tools. Because obviously, if you go this way, you know, you're coming this way. Right? So you're going to take up more room and length. Right? But I guess you can kind of now, then you can't put one in the back. But yeah, not really a big deal. All right. I mean, I like the other way better. I mean, but if you use your belt clip, you know, bit holders are much more useful. I, I wish every tool had a bit holder. Um, you know, a lot of the Ryobis obviously have one in the back and the hearts have them sometimes in the back, but, um, and they have one on the side, but the belt clips, I don't know. They're good with uh, a lot of other tools these small tools like with a with a recip you know when they have like the rafter hooks they're great so instead of putting them on the floor you know exactly you just you know clip it right onto something you know circular saws because they're big and heavy something like this it, you know it, it doesn't really matter as much i mean i i understand why they do them don't get me wrong but um Oh, thank you, Shaka. I'm sure Shaka is going to get a Ryobi um, set of these. Good afternoon, Ryobi, straight up. Travis, what's up, buddy? Yeah, so check it out, guys, if you're interested. All right, and you can make your own little shelf, too. So, like, if you're planning on doing this, you just get, like, a one by 4 or one by 6 You know, you kind of mount it up. Boom, boom. I got this whole thing connected. This is all one piece here, too. That's why I'll show you. I have a video on making this. But yeah, I guess got a two by four. And I put this piece on, you know, screwed that on. Boom, boom. Two by four here. Screwed this on. Boom, boom, boom. And then put this into the wall. Two, two screws are holding this entire thing together. It's crazy. It's masterful. That's the way we roll, we roll, we roll. And I had a lot of different plans for this, but it ended up being a, 
a charger holder pretty much but anyway you can make your own and if you have like a little workstation um or obviously a workbench or a workshop area you know for 695 then you just you know put these up you know the and you don't need you know he gave me five or four of them here you know you need one maybe for a drill driver and impact you buy two two red milwaukee's all right maybe you want to you get one for your jigsaw if you're like a woodworker you know a diy woodworker and maybe a circular saw um i don't i think there's no doubt this would hold a circular saw um you know it's more dependent on your shelf not the actual cleat all right here's the dewalt um circular and i can show you this will slide right in like money well, maybe it will maybe certain tools are yeah certain tools all right so maybe that was why It's interesting. And certain tools. No, this one won't go in either. So, yeah, that was why it didn't work there. Maybe it's really only for, you know, impacts. Maybe it's for small tools. I'll do, I'm going to I'll do an update video. And I'm going to get this all set up. And once I have them set up, we'll try different tools with them. Because uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be interested. And you're probably like, oh, man, I'm, it ain't going to hold my jigsaw. But, um, I mean, for $6.95, these are great. Again, and most of you are not going to be putting circular saws and jigsaws up here. Even though, you, you know, you could. But, you know, they obviously work with, you know, your impacts. You know, you saw it go in here, but perch. And thank you, Shaka. I appreciate it. Comes with the screws as well. I'm going to talk to the gentleman. But yeah, check them out. Thank you for looking them up too. John Rice. Blackbird. Thank you, Mick H3. HL, Piston Honda. Chuck dog. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later on the flip side. Uh, patrons, I'll see you tonight. Everybody, keep being safe. God bless you.